Hey everybody, guess who figured out how to set this up without zooming in? <laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited about that. Anyway, so today we're going to do something a little bit different for once. We're going to do something um, organization related. And if you can't tell, yes, I'm feeling better. Um, I got these. Simon Says Stamp um, Swatch Book Supply Set. I actually do have more of these, but I'm honestly not sure what I did with them. They're around here somewhere, probably with all of my stamps and dies and stuff somewhere, but it was actually smarter to order all this together because not only do you get this ring... But you get the stamps, and you can do different kinds of designs if you'd like. And I think there's 30 of these. Um, I'm just going to focus on my Concord and Ninth today because those are what I have open. Whoa. <laughs> That's what I get for wearing my hair down. Um, I'm going to save this for now in case I want to... Put the extra stuff back in there. And how do you open? Oh, they used a big one and just folded it. I see. Okay, so I'm not sure. Come on. I'm not sure, oh please excuse my dry hands, um, alright, can I finish a thought here? <laughs> Probably not. I'm not sure if they expect you to use all three of these for one, but I'm probably just going to go for this one. Um, and then I do have a few combos that I have used together that I like. So like for Christmas I did Cranberry and Evergreen. For my fall colors that I did back on um, my November card kit video, I, I used these colors together and I really liked those. And then I don't remember what I used these for, but I really liked Midnight Fig and Aqua Sky together. I thought they went well. So I'm going to just start with I guess each color and we'll just do that's interesting it's bigger than the well we'll just uh, use this guy and maybe put like a piece of acetate or something underneath so I'm not getting ink all over the place I don't need that I wish this fit like here or somewhere because I really don't use it but I don't want to lose it either in case I do decide I want to use it all right so yeah I want to use the solid one but yeah I'm guessing they're thinking that you're gonna use one you know of each since one two three four but I'm just going to do one of each color and then I'm not sure how I want to write the, um, the color on it, but I will figure it out. No, I can't do it there. I'm going to have to go, we'll put it at three. And then, I mean, they're going to have to move each time, the stamp each time, or the paper each time. I don't know how much of this this fills in. Good amount of it at least I think but one thing I have done let go. 
One thing that I have done is I've kept the colors in order to this. This is what the labels came in, so I've kept this just so I can keep them in order because I like the rainbow order. I think it's easier to find them that way rather than just sticking them wherever. Alright, does that still line up? Not quite as well as it did, but they do. Let's try that. Whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so, going right through the rainbow, I'm actually going to push some things out of the way here, if I can reach. We're, we're going to start with dragon fruit, and if you have seen my last craft update, you know that I did not previously have my inks over here. Um, I have them across the room, and I actually just switched it before I started recording, because... I use these more than I use the other stuff that I had there, so it only made sense to- oh, I didn't put anything underneath it. God. Um, yeah, I don't want to put that on this because it's going to dye it on me. This must be from the actual- um, yeah, I want to keep that. Um, um, um. Alright, so these are actually just extra laminated pieces that I had. I'm just going to stick them right along the sides here, I guess. Because I can't really put it under or it's going to not allow that to stick. Um, yeah, and I want to be able to stamp it more than once. Although, I could... Hmm. I could always do it where it's like, okay, I stamp once, twice, three times. That might not be a bad idea, actually. And that one little gouge there is not from the stamp. It's actually on the, um, the little card. Yeah, because I could do the name, what is this, Dragon Fruit, I think? Yeah. Right, Dragon Fruit, once. I don't think I really need to do it more than that. Okay, so we want basically, well, I can line it up with the ink. <laughs> I got that on my hand. That's not going to be a surprise to me if I keep getting it on my hands. Alright, so I just inked that. So that is... Oops. Twice.
It doesn't have to be perfect either. I mean, some people prefer it that way. But, I mean, there's a lot of these, so it's going to take a lot to do. But I'll probably just film a few at regular speed and then um, speed it up because I don't think you're going to want to watch me do all of these. One. Two. dark and I'm getting crooked <laughs> um, oh. I need something actually I'll just cut some off the top I guess Oh, yeah. That's pretty close. Oh, this would work so much better if I just had like four of these. I think I care less about the patterns. Although I almost want to just use all four. Just because um, I can just set it all up in one shot. and That might be easier. Yeah, I'll try that. Um, I knew I had one of these. Oh, except, no, I don't want to use that. It's got glitter on it. Forever moving things around in here. And now it's nice and pink. <laughs> took them off and then cleaned them. Come on. Where did black come from? Maybe this? <sighs> All right, well, we've got some stain on there. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. All right, so it's a good thing I have two sets of these. I just have to find the other set. All right, so... I'll go up. Actually, no, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll go up here. And then I guess we'll do this for the lighter one. <laughs> I love how it turns neon. Okay. 
just gonna pick it up so I don't end up losing it. Um, I'll do this one for the second one, I think. Just because some colors will still be very light, so I want more to show. Okay. I knew that was coming. And then we'll do the diagonal and then the dots. Don't mind my head. These are not spaced evenly. <laughs> Alright, that one, and then finally this one. Oh, you know what I can do? God, stop it. Sorry, once I start stamping and using them, they won't be as sticky. But yeah, here's, so it's not as much of a difference for such a dark color, but you can see how much darker that is. But I want them all to be the same, so if I'm going to do it for one, I'm going to do it for all of them. So here's how I'm going to do this. We're going to go... Just thinking I was gonna put on here. Why don't we do some of this? It'll help me line it up a little bit too. just hear a song like in a grocery store or something you don't even like the song but it gets stuck in your head and you hate it I'm having that right now and I'm not gonna sing it because um I don't want to get a copyright claim or whatever um another piece I honestly don't even know the name of it. I just know it because I used to work in a grocery store and I used to hear it all the time. And now when I go in grocery stores, I still hear it because they all play it. Alright, let's try that. I 
that's awful. Is it because I let it sit so long? Hmm. So my thinking was once and then twice, three, four. So I'm not stamping them all. Mm -hmm. See, like, I don't need to see it with different patterns, so I don't see the point in that. I don't think I'm going to bother with that, actually. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with my original plan, which is going to be kind of a pain, but the only other thing I can think, but I won't be able to stamp them multiple times. I almost wonder if I'd be better off taking this out and using the paper pad. Yeah, I'll be lucky if I can get this thing out of here. I haven't taken it out once. <laughs> Man. I'm trying to be real careful here, too, because I don't want to rip it. No, 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 don't clean to that again. Yes, clean to the acetate. There you go. I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to try a couple different things here. We're going to try this because I could care less if it uh, bleeds through. Although, it almost seems too tall. And then I have this too. This came with it. Um, we could just put this in there. And I don't care if the black foam gets ink on it because it's 
black. <laughs> it won't show. Although, if I am going to do this, I do want to tape it down so it doesn't move. Or actually, I have this too. I didn't realize this was like the same thing as this, but it does have the grid, which is kind of nice. I just don't know if that would stain. I would still want to tape it, I think. All right, let's see. What would be nice is does this hold kind of see that's my thing with the magnet is it's just not strong enough through the stuff that's why I use the grip mat instead yeah that barely stuck Let me do that because I can. Oh, uh, I don't know how strong those are. I've used those a few times already. I have little scraps up on top of my little garbage can. All right, let's do that. And then like that. Try to get as many air bubbles out as possible. Okay. And then basically what I'll do is I'll have to count how many I need to move it up. I'll figure it out. Alright, so we got dragon fruit. And I think I'm just going to do it twice. Yeah, definitely twice because that doesn't look very good. but I'll probably end up needing one, so I'll leave it. Alright, good. That comes off nice. Basically, we want this line to be just above. Um, I should put a mark here. Maybe I'll put another piece of tape just so I know. Actually, I could use one of these for that. There, just a hair above it. We can put the dragon fruit away finally. And mm, that's not good. I'm gonna have to put something behind that. Alright, so now we have the sweet pea. Just making sure it's dry from the baby wipe.
Hmm, I might do that a third time actually. Give it some direct pressure instead of just the um this thing. It's not much of a difference in all honesty. But it is a different color, so Maybe once it dries back, it won't look the same. Because don't they get lighter when they dry back? I think I'm going to take another one of these. Just so I remember. So that's this one. And it's just going to be so I know, okay, it has to be between these two. Do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're lined up how you want yours to turn out and you don't have to particularly use these um i believe waffle flower has swatch stamps um concord ninth has their own swatch stamps with the names but i figure i'm only gonna be doing that once why do i really need the stamps if i'm only gonna swatch once i mean yeah sure someday i might redo them like if they get worn out but it's really not that big of a deal to me if you want to do it that way, that's that's fine. It's your craft room, it's your craft supplies. Do what you want to do. So this is Carnation. Oh yeah, you can see the difference already as it's drying. Oh, I'm like, why doesn't this feel like it's sitting flat? It's because this isn't flattened out yet. Either way, it's not going to sit entirely flat, so it's okay. Okay, we have Briar Rose. I'm going to adjust here. This was definitely the way to do it. Much easier. It's going to be very time consuming, but it'll be alright. I think it'll be worth it. Instead of having to swatch out on paper every single time I go to do something, I can just grab these. Ooh, I kind of like that color. Honestly, I like them all. That was why I went with the Concord and Ice, um collection. And I do want to get those new ones. Those are very pretty, but I just don't have the money right now. And yes, I could save some money and get the ink cubes, but I would rather have the full size. I use a lot of bigger stamps, so I would rather have the full size. And ditch that because I don't want to make the layer stuff turn darker. I hate the way I do that sometimes. Like, I'll start to say something and I just kind of let the sentence hang there. Like, I forgot that I was talking. I'm like, oh yeah, I should finish that sentence. There's a lot of times where I edit that and I'm like getting really self conscious of it. So hopefully that'll help. <laughs> oh man, I ripped. Alright, 
here it'll be okay i do have a laminator so maybe i'll laminate them So here's your normal 48 colors and yes I did do the white because my white is not exactly white I used it on some purple and it kind of turned pink so I mean I'm sure I can wipe it off a little bit or re-ink it and get it back to white but for now that's what it is so I wanted that on there and besides, I would have done it anyway, even if it was just white, because it's part of the 48 colors, so might as well. And then this was my Midnight Fig in Aqua Sky. This I was actually going to do into two, but I realized I could fit it all on one. So this is Nutmeg, Sunflower, Artichoke. Cayenne and Spiced Cider. And then these are my Christmas colors that I liked. So I did Cranberry and Evergreen. And I'm going to let these sit for the night and fully dry out. I will label all of the colors. Maybe on the back. I'll have to see how big my label maker prints. Because if I can get it to print smaller, that might work. And I could just do it across the center. But if it's too big, then I will probably just write it by hand on the back, maybe. Because, like, some of these, it's not going to show up. And these are, the bottom's kind of small, so. I'll play around and see what works. 
Okay, so it's the next day. You can tell they're dried because they're all curled up. Um, and I have been using my Brother P-Touch label maker um, with the white laminated labels. Not that it matters, you can really use whatever you want because it's going to be on the back. At least for what I'm doing anyway. Um, so I moved, I don't know how well you can see this, but there's three font sizes that I can use here. I moved down to the smallest size. And for the longer names, I'm going to have to cut them up because it's just a little bit too long. So it's just going to be dragging fruit. And if you can, I'm sure you can hear this, uh, my laminator is going next to me here, heating up for laminating these. And it might only take me like two sheets, to be honest, which would be nice. But yeah, so basically I'm just going to do one of these at a time. And also I have the laminator going already, even though it's going to take a little while, just because um, I recently watched a Gina K video where um, she was using, or well, she wasn't using it, but she was explaining how to use a regular laminator with um, the hot foil. And she said it needs to be on for at least a half an hour to fully heat up and so I've always noticed when I laminate things that it crinkles up a little bit so I thought maybe if I let it heat up for that half an hour maybe that won't happen wishful thinking we'll see what happens <laughs> so I'm just looking over at my collection that I have over here and going right down the line like I did as I grabbed each of these last night. Scissors. And I haven't played around with the settings much on this. I'm not sure how to not get that, but whatever. If these weren't so small, I would use my paper trimmer, but I feel like it would be more trouble than it's worth. So I'm just trying to cut it down kind of small so that, especially this one, isn't like going on to the next color. Because basically, I'm not going to draw the lines on the other side. You can kind of see where the colors are. And it's not really that hard to figure out, okay, that's the first color, that's the second color, and so on and so forth. Um, so basically, I'm just going to not cut my hair. It's very staticky today. It's pretty chilly today. I think it was in the 20s. The only downside to cutting these is that it's a little more difficult to pull it off, especially because I have no nails. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Maybe I'm not going to be cutting them down. <laughs> maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just going to redo it and yeah not cut the top and the bottom off like that because I'll just cut here I'll reprint that one in a second I do like that it puts those little dots for cutting, but in the same sense, like, I would rather it just cut it. Alright, I'm just gonna make dragon fruit into two words. Oh, 
Also, you're gonna notice if I keep all of it in here as I print all these, um, the fact that the, this is actually in alphabetical order instead of like the way a normal keyboard is set up really throws me off. when I type I'm thinking of a keyboard so that's what my brain goes to and then I go to grab I go to type it I'm like wait it's not in that spot it's in a different spot all right maybe I will cut the edges off just not the top and the bottom I'm gonna make my life a little easier here You can see all my colorful, <laughs> all my colorful baby wipes. And if you're wondering what this tray is from, it's from the um, We Are Makers. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a whole set. It's a, a cart of trays. And it is pricey, but I got this when uh, Joanne's store was closing, and I think I got it for 60 bucks rather than 100 or more than 100 that it sells for. So, I mean, yes, it was still expensive, but it's awesome to have. So if you can, if you can catch a deal, I recommend getting it because it is really great for laying stuff out like this to dry paintings to dry um I kind of separate projects out onto it too um let me make sure I have these in order here I gotta cut that in half dragon fruit sweet pea carnation and briar rose I might have to cut the briar rose into two Oops, I don't really need that in here, do I? You know what I could do? I could stick them together. One on top of the other. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, sweet pea will fit. Carnation will fit. So it's just the longer ones that aren't gonna fit. But yeah, see, it has the, the, um, what do you want to call this? The backer is split into two pieces to get it off easier. And because I had cut it so small, I couldn't get that to work. I'm just going to put this right to the top. I'm going to try my best to get it nicely, but it's really not the end of the world if it's not perfect. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm double checking as I'm going to make sure I'm staying in order. Because if I bump anything, it might not end up in the same order. Yeah, see, I'm already not straight. That's fine. Alright, carnation. Man, that thing's gonna get on my nerves. It's kind of annoying. But that's the gist. So you got your colors on the side and then you just flip it over and say, okay, what color is that? Please don't wreck it on me. Okay, we're grabbing. Uh oh. Really? I swear, I hate this thing.
All right, that shouldn't be a problem. Well, I was half expecting this to have been bent like that, but it's not. All right, so let's try the other one though. Okay. Right, all right. Yeah, I think that was broken now that I'm thinking about it. Um, what do I do with it? So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut them in half. Now, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring out my little trimmer. And can you see here how there's like a gap to the seam? You don't want to cut that, and it gives you that nice little curve. So, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably not gonna use that. I am. where I want to start here. I'm just going to take this and you probably can't see it. I can barely see it. Um, but I'm just going to the very edge of that little seam and then I'm going to cut. I'm actually going to start out a little further just to kind of get it straight. That looks to be about it. There's one. Okay. I think that's all of them. And now we've got all these nice things. And then got a hole puncher. And I'm just going to I'm actually gonna use it upside down because I can line it up with the hole as best I can. Oh, that was tough. And I don't really care if they're perfect. I just... Uh-oh. That might be a problem if they get stuck. 
Um, but yeah, you can tell there's no shine there. It's not a perfect hole. It doesn't fill the whole thing, but no pun intended. But it works and it'll keep it it's more durable than the paper against this and you don't have to laminate these it's just i i know they'll hold up better for me if i laminate them because i throw stuff all over the place all the time and you know i spend a lot of time working on these so i don't want them to just become garbage super fast i would like them to last i mean obviously i expect over time they'll start to fade and I'll probably have to redo them at some point. But for now, this will work. I'm gonna see if I can find some more of these at like the Dollar Tree or something, but I think what I'll do is probably put these on a separate one. Maybe, I don't know, because they are all the Concord and Ninth colors. So I might just keep them on this, but look how nice that is. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. So, let me know what you thought of this and if you have any tips or tricks of how I could have done this easier or let me know how you've done your own and I will try to have some other organization tips and tricks in the near future. I hope I was able to provide you with some inspiration today. Please leave a like or comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and check out my channel for more of the crafts I've made and I'll see you in the next one.